Great to have you with us, Larry. And you're now a longtime Houstonian, but you grew up in the Bronx, New York, and you were the valedictorian at Fordham Prep. One of your high school classmates at Fordham Prep was Vin Scully. You and him both had big dreams at that time. Tell us that story. Well, we had an assembly when I was a senior at Fordham Prep. All the school got together in the assembly hall, and he was sitting right behind me. So anyway, he put his arms on my shoulder, and he said, Larry, someday you're going to be in the big leagues. And the first time you hit a home run, I'll be the announcer and tell the world about it. Well, I laughed about it, and I never thought of it much after that. But sure enough, 1952, this is nine years later, I was playing for the St. Louis Cardinals. wasn't playing regular. How could I? When I had two Hall of Famers playing with the two outfield posts, there was only one spot open, and everybody in the, in the, in the organization was vying for that one spot. So I played a little bit, uh, and uh, but I got up against Preacher Row. I think Eddie Sankey, the manager, figured this is big as his hometown. He must have all his friends and relatives there. He'd be up for this game. Let me put him in and see what happens. So they put me in, and sure enough, I hit one. I think it was the second time up against Preacher over the man on. Scully only had one or two innings to broadcast for Red Barber in those days because he was just starting out. But he had that inning, and uh, he talked about this story and related it to all the people in New York. And I heard about it from other people. It was great. That's an incredible story because there was just in Sports Illustrated not too long ago. And as everybody knows, Vin made the big announcement this past year that this was going to be his last year. He didn't just become a great baseball broadcaster. He became the gold standard. Can you believe what's happened to your childhood friend? And can you believe he's still the Dodgers' voice 66 years later? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And he probably could go on further if he wanted to. Because he still looks young and he's got the good voice. But after 66 years, <laughs> that's probably enough. <laughs> You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.